So this week, renewed interest in whether serial pedophile Jeffrey Epstein killed himself in prison or whether he was offed by somebody who wanted him dead. A lot of people may fall into that category, given the number of high-profile people who partied with and may have partaken in his obsession with underage girls who say that they were sex slaves in his bizarre world. Then this video surfaces from Project Veritas in which ABC anchor Amy Robach says that ABC, quote, quashed her exclusive with Epstein accuser Virginia Giffrey, who said that she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew when she was 17. Fox News is not able to independently verify this following video. I've had the story for three years. I've had this interview with Virginia Roberts. We would not put it on the air. Um, first of all, I was told, who's Jeffrey Epstein? No one knows who that is. This is a stupid story. Um, then the palace found out that we had her whole allegations about Prince Andrew and threatened us a million different ways. Um, we were so afraid we wouldn't be able to interview Kate and Will say, oh, that we that, that also quashed sense. the story. She told me everything. She had pictures. She had everything. It was unbelievable what we had. Clinton. We had everything. Do I think he was killed? A hundred percent. Yes, I do. Because you want He made his whole living blackmailing people. There were a lot of men in those planes. A lot of men who visited that island. A lot of powerful men who came into that apartment. ABC and Robach released statements today, essentially saying that the story wasn't ready for air. She said that, and they said that as well, not fully vetted. ABC has still not run, all these years later, and he's dead now, the original Robach Jeffrey interview. Let's bring in Jesse Waters, host of Waters World and co-host of The Five. Jesse, what do you think about all this? Uh, it's a sickening and wicked scandal, and ABC News has to hire an independent investigator to get to the bottom of this, and they have to answer one big question. How many children were raped in the last three years since they spiked this story? Because, as Amy says, she had witnesses, she had victims, she had photographic evidence with the Bill Clinton connection and a British royal family connection. And ABC News said that that did not meet their editorial standards. What are those standards? I want them to come clean because they went after Brett Kavanaugh, with 40-year-old hearsay, with no corroborating witnesses, no evidence, and a lot of that was furnished by Michael Avenetti, a scoundrel, a bankrupt tax cheat who brought forth gang rape allegations with no evidence. So what were those standards that allowed that to get on air? I'd like to know. And it looks like the play was, we don't get access to royal family interviews on GMA. Yeah. yeah. Please. And you're not going to go protect children who are allegedly being sexually assaulted by God knows who and God knows where. Mm -hmm. And this is the Disney company, the Disney company. It's sick. Yeah, I mean, and, and the suggestion that nobody knew who Jeffrey Epstein was, I mean, I don't know who these people are, right. but Jeffrey Epstein was, you know, linked to many powerful people for years. I mean, I, he wouldn't be a household name necessarily, but that the executives at ABC in New York City had no idea who he was, I find very difficult to believe. I mean, it also smacks of a lot of similarities of what we saw with the Weinstein story. Right. And I think that these institutions, these corporations need to ask themselves, who are we and what what are we when this story comes to us and we don't air it? I mean, Roberta, the, uh, Virginia Roberts, you know, that story on, on what she had alone, the pictures she had of her and her story. How many stories do you see on ABC and NBC and everywhere where it's just, you know, this is her story. This is what she says. You know, you can back it up. You can investigate the other side of the story and say that we can't corroborate this. There's a lot of ways to get at a story like that. And as you rightly point out, None of those hoops were jumped through with the Brett Kavanaugh story. No, and ABC just got in big trouble for putting on fake Syrian war footage. Instead, yeah. it was a gun Great range point. in Kentucky. That doesn't look good. But also, this isn't being mentioned, but Hillary Clinton three years ago was in the midst of a presidential campaign. And if ABC drops a devastating blow against her husband in the midst of this campaign, that's going to blow back big on ABC News. Remember, they thought Hillary was going to win the White House, and they didn't want to jeopardize that relationship. They wanted to be on the right side of history. Yeah. Now they're on the wrong side of history, and it's a tragedy if this is true. Yeah, I mean, it, it also starts to raise those questions again. We've had sort of three different data points this week of people raising questions about whether or not Jeffrey Epstein took his own life. And 
And when you go back and you look at this and you look at the people and, you know, the, some of the names that you mentioned who, you know, we know were on, on the plane and went to the island. We have no, you know, there's no evidence um, about none of these women have said that they were with Bill Clinton. But it's, you know, part of the story that he was on that plane. Um, absolutely. So it raises questions about whether or not somebody had him killed. Michael Bodden went on uh, and he is, you know, full disclosure, he's doing work for Jeffrey Epstein's brother, but he's a very renowned uh, forensic uh, forensic scientist. He said that he saw signs that he, he was perhaps that he took his, that he didn't take his own life. Everybody with common sense, Martha, knows that Epstein did not kill himself. Everybody knows that. This guy was wanted by many people. He was accused of blackmailing people. Remember, he had a picture of Bill Clinton Absolutely. in a blue dress, oil painting Painted an in oil his painting mansion. painting in his house, which is so weird. Right. So check the flight records. We want to see who was on that plane. Interview the pilot. These are questions that I think we need answers to. And the Department of Justice says they're doing an investigation yeah. into what happened to the prison. Because remember, the video cameras went down that we're looking at Epstein's cell. Uh, that just doesn't happen crazy. randomly. Crazy, yeah, there's too many crazy things there. We gotta dig into it more. Uh, Jesse, thank you. Thanks. Good to see you, Jesse Waters, tonight.